it's time for some more robots once again. Um, I have been busy building, um, but there's probably not as many as you're expecting because I've been playing a lot of RA2. Such a good game, very enjoyable. Anyway, um, what have I built? Let's start with the RC this time. So, um, quite a while back now, um, I took my original um, build of Behemoth, uh, as designed by Stephen McCullough and edited by me. Um, and I've made it RC. Obviously, I've built a whole new one. Um, so the wings look different. Uh, it's built using a Xbox Robot Wars toy with the flipper module on, um, as you can just about see in there. There we go. Um, but yeah, it is a mini BMW. It's pretty cool. Very enjoyable to drive and play with. Um, does lose reception every now and again because the sensor is through that little hole at the back, um, which you could pretend is for the removable link if you so wished. There's also the problem of stopping it. Um, secondly, in the RC department, and lastly in the RC department, I've not really built that many RC robots recently, um, but I have built Apex. And here is Apex with its golden bar and golden side bits and blue design like in series 10, you know, the one where this bar goes flying through um, a, a bit of Lexan. But let's not dwell on that because it is a mean machine. Um, it only just passes the wheels, which is pretty cool. Um, and it does drive quite nicely, really. It's built using a Hexbug Tombstone. Um, as you can just about make out in the middle there. Uh, if you know the shape of a tombstone, you'll know that that is it, without its spinner that used to be on the front here. Um, oh, that's off camera. Here, um, and I've added a load of bits at the back, obviously, to make it look more like Apex. So yeah, I'm very happy with how this one turned out with its big old bar spinner. Um, and I have been planning it for a while to build this one, so very pleased that I finally got round to doing it. That is Apex. Um, now, on to um, robots that I've updated. First of all, Firestorm. I've redone the wedge completely. That is a whole new wedge on the front of Firestorm. Much cleaner, much nicer. The tape is much smoother. Um, still just as powerful as it used to be. So that's good. It's going down there. Um, I've redesigned King Cobra again. Um, the only robot that's had more redesigns than this is my Thor. More on that in a minute. Um, but here is the new King Cobra, which is now um, even more modular than it used to be. So what you can do is you've got the crusher here and the lifter here. So you can either have one of them but not the other one. So that one. But what you can also do is if you take out the lifter and put it on the top here, you then got that ramming bit there. So that's good for getting under other robots and pushing, which is basically what Cobra is good at because it used to be Brutus and it's Brutus once again now. So yeah, that's King Cobra. Um, pretty happy with how that one looks. Um, moving on, we have Rebel, which I think I've shown you before. It's a robot of my own design, um, but the backstory behind it now is that it's built by Jack Barker, who um, built Endgame for BattleBots. I like BattleBots. But here is Rebel in its natural form. It's now a vertical spinner. Um, it has that vertical spinner. It's also got the lifting up bits here and the whole lifting bit there. Um, and also it's got this spinner armour like Lockjaw used to or does. Um, that's for spinners, the back plough, um, which if you hit it with a spinner will sort of do that and shift so it'll absorb the impact, so that's the theory anyway. Um, so that's Rebel. And lastly, on the uh, redesigning front, I've redesigned um, the interior of um, Boy Racer because it was quite breakable. Um, the whole flipper design now is actually on these side bits here. Um, the wheels have a little bit more armour in front of them, um, and the flipper... Works just as well as it used to, like so. 
there we go. So that is Boy Racer. That's it for updates. Now, brand new builds of old machines. This is a new bit. So, Shadow Cat, winner of the Grand Slam. Yes. Completely not biased, I promise. Um, it was genuine that that's the way it happened, basically. Um, I try my very hardest not to rig results of matches. It's difficult to say and do when you're pushing it around with your hands and ultimately they are yours but if a robot falls in the pit I can't just get it out of the pit and carry on driving it um, if you catch my drift. I was absolutely gutted um, when Firestorm got absolutely rammed out of the arena um, by Tornado um, Furious. I may have added a little bit more flipper power into the floor flipper which is why Tornado went sailing over the wall but there we are um what was i saying shadow cat yes this is shadow cat 2 redesigned for the next series of the grand slam there's the team x logo uh on the back and it's flipper now comes all the way over to there um this little knobbly bit oh in fact that's come out there we go this little knobbly bit on top is just so that i can move it that's how it's meant to be. Um, I have fitted it with an LED, um, and it's got this little light inside. The batteries then ran dead, so I need to cut that out and replace the battery. So that'll be a bit of work to do on Shadow Cat, um, because I do want it to be a cool kitty. But yes, Shadow Cat, very nice. Uh, the other one is the runner-up, the second place robot, Extremist 2, um, which has now been retired and replaced with Extremist 3. Now, if you are a viewer of my channel, you will have seen this robot already. I put up a video saying uh, a challenger approaches or something like that. Um, but here is Extremist 3 with its red spinner and red colour scheme, um, which I am very fond of. The skull on top is the fiercest it's ever looked. Um, there's wheels on the top that are glued on um, because the wheels wouldn't fit in there. But it is now invertible, so can drive both ways up. Um, which m may make it completely indestructible, who knows? Um, we shall have to wait and see. Um, they will also be in the second series of the Grand Slam, so look forward to seeing them. Um, brand new builds of robots that exist, uh, first of all. So we have, uh, I went to Extreme Robots in Colchester, you'll have seen the video possibly on my channel. If you've not, go and have a look. It was a good fun event, Aftershock was there for the first time and it was absolutely brutal. Um, absolutely love seeing Aftershock there. Absolutely love being in the pits again. So, yeah, Extreme Robots. Check it out. But anyway, I got all of their robot kits. So the first one I've built is Ripper. Um, and I have updated their version to look more like Newer Day Ripper. So it's got these bits on the sides um, that protect it. So I've also finished this off so that it's got something here and something here, and there's a bit of tape in there restricting how much it can flip. Uh, I've also added these two bits on the front, they weren't on the original model, um, but the new Ripper has them, so I've added them. So there is Ripper, um, pretty happy with how Ripper came out, obviously it was a set before, so you just got to go with it. Um, secondly, we'll go with another live event robot, and I've only just finished building this one, um, but this is Weird Malice. And uh, it is a flipper again. Um, it has its eyes, it's got weird malice on both sides. Uh, and its flipper works something like that. Pretty powerful. Got a lot of range on it. But yes, that is the best way that it works. I was going to have something out the back that I pushed down on. That didn't work out. So that is how we do that. But there is weird malice. Very happy with them. Uh... Last one of robots that actually exist is free shipping from BattleBots. I absolutely love all the fights with free shipping in. They're such an entertaining robot, um, so I had to build them. This is my version of free shipping. It's got a couple of extra bits and bobs um, to help itself right and things, but there it is. So it's mainly Lego Technic, but it has this built section on the bottom and obviously the lifter, which does work like so. And it would not be free shipping unless it had its flamethrower. So there's a flame bit. And that just slots in nicely there. 
there is free shipping. Um, it, it can drive around on the side. That's what these grey bits are. These aren't on the actual machine. Um, so they help it to self-write um, and drive around, keep driving. But yes, love free shipping. It's a very big machine in comparison to some of the others. If I put it up against Extremis 3, which is actually a very small machine now, um, you can just see the size difference there. Colossal. And, yeah, it's, it's prongs are... Or it's tines, in fact, are the same size as Extremis 3. Robots that I have built, that I have made up. Um, the first one is... I found a Lego set on the Isle of Wight, and you'll see in Vectis that on the Sunday I went out shopping for Lego because I was getting bored stiff because the Wi-Fi was slow. So, um, got some Lego to build some robots, and I built this one while I was away. This is Smaug. This is an actual set that I have adapted to be a robot. So here is Smaug. It is the dragon set, Lego Creator Dragon. Um, I did build the dragon first, and then built this as well while listening to the Spinner Proof podcast. Um, there we are. It's a huge, great biting mouth. It's got a nice little wedge look at the front just to get the robots up and into the mouth so it can grab a hold. Its wings are actuated so it can be the Shremek, uh, as is the tail moves all around. So that is Smaug the Dragon, obviously named after the dragon in The Hobbit, which was on TV recently. Next is Unicorn. I know, going with the mythical creatures, but this is a flipper. This is possibly the best flipper I have ever made. Uh, again, mainly Lego Technic. In fact, there is no proper Lego parts in here. There is only Lego Technic. Um, so, yeah, there's the underside. All Lego Technic. It's got an RC, not an RC, a pullback motor just in here. That's what makes up most of the body that these wheels are attached to, so that if I wheel them back, they'll drive forwards. And the flipper is flipping big. It's that whole head and it moves like that. But I absolutely adore this and it flips really well. Really big flipper as well. It's possibly one of the most powerful flippers without trying to be um, ever. That I've built anyway. So there is Unicorn. And lastly, um, this is a robot called JCB and it's just fallen apart. Grand. It is a bit fragile. Um, but it's JCB, it stands for Jaws Clamp Bots. Um, and here it is, back together again. So it's got these crushing jaws here, and then it lifts it up like so. thought it looked like a bit of a construction robot, sort of beer moth-esque, in fact. Um, it's got this back dumper section, don't know what that's for, but there we are. Um, but yes... Jaws Clamp Bots, JCB. There you go. Sorted. And that, as they say, is that. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you like some of these robots. Which is your favourite? Tell me down below in the comments. And just before I go, at some point in the near future, make sure you keep your eye on a channel titled Anderson9132. He is the Robot Wars guru, and he is making a... YouTuber um, push very much what I do with the Grand Slam, but he's making his own. Um, he's been doing it many years before I have, um, but he asked some of the viewers to get involved and um, apply robots, and I have applied a robot called Redux, which you should see now. Um, this is the design. This is the computer-aided design of it, um, and I am pretty happy with how it looks. So... Hopefully, this front hinge flipper will see World of Woodrow to victory. Fingers crossed. Anderson9132, go and check out his channel. Um, there's plenty more good stuff over there. Obviously, RWA Rebirth, one of the series that inspired the Grand Slam. So, do go and check it out. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. And uh, I shall see you next time for probably some more Vectis. M yeah, more Vectis coming. I've only uploaded one so far. So, editing time. Bye.